again. Again, man? How many times are we gonna do this? Stop. Don't worry about it. This week I'm running a special on dribbling. Yeah, well, I can dribble, man. I just got my own style. Thorpe, right now you can't even dribble down your chin. Come on, let's go. Take it up. Side to side. Oh, Don't back in. Side to side. That's it. Come on. Come on. Use it. Use it. Come on. Hi. Can I see you a moment? What about? I'm not going to have a conversation across a basketball court. Alone? Oh, gee, thanks. I owe you one. What's he thanking me for? He thinks I've been working him too hard. Well, I see we're making some progress. For the first time in six months, Morris Thorpe is right about something. I thought you and I had an agreement that basketball practice would be held to a minimum during midterms. Yeah, but he's been having trouble dribbling to his left. He needs a practice. If that's all the trouble Morris Thorpe is going to have in life, we'll all be lucky. But right now, he's having problems making a seventh grade reading level. He's failing geometry, and he doesn't know a preposition from a proposition. I think that's a little more important than his having trouble going to his left. You know your problem? You know a lot about education, almost nothing about life. Thorpe wouldn't be home studying if he wasn't here. He'd be down at the candy store or something looking for ten different ways to get into trouble. I didn't come down here to argue with you. Oh, you could have fooled me. There's a Sally Adams in my office. She wants to see you. The sportscaster? One and the same. Sally Adams, Ken Reeves. He's all yours. How do you do? Hello? I don't know if you remember, but we met once when you were with Chicago. I was doing halftime interviews. Who could forget? I was supposed to stand by in case Tiny Archibald couldn't make the interview. <laughs> right, you do remember. It was the closest I ever came to being on television without a basketball in my hands. Would you believe better late than never? <sighs> You've got to be kidding. No, that's why I'm here. We're um, doing a show on former athletes, or what are they doing now sort of thing, and I'd like to do a segment on you. Why me? I never made all pro. I ran into Artis Gilmore in a plane. I mentioned the show to him, and he told me about you. Good old Artis. Sybil already has clearance from the school board to bring the cameras onto the school so I can get some footage on you. A day in the life of sort of thing, at practice, in the locker room, on the sidelines during the game. What's Artis up to? He's got a contract to do some commercials for um, an electric basketball game, and he said something about a movie. Anyway, I want to do an on-camera interview with you and the players, and your co-workers, your friends, and the only one left to say yes is you. Pass. Why not? I don't like fish bowls. I never did. You're going to tell me a big boy like you is camera shy? The network was going to make a contribution to the school. New game uniforms for my team? Sure. Okay. Good. Are you free for dinner? I'd like to get a jump on the film crew. Sure. How about Chasen's? Hey, you gotta wear a tie. Yeah. <laughs> okay, where would you like? Any place I don't have to wear a tie that serves great rigatoni with marinara sauce. You got it. Good. Why don't you uh, walk me to my car and we'll pick a place. Yeah, 8 o'clock will be fine. Give me a chance to go home and shower. Shall I pick you up? No, I'll meet you there. It'll make it easier for both of us. There's my car. Oh. A lotus? I'm not crazy about the color, but it was either this or wait six months. <laughs> Don't be late. I never missed a bed check in my life. Then you turn pro? Now in 16th in the draft. 
I was in the starting lineup for about 10 years. Had a couple of pretty good seasons, then the knee went. So what made you decide to coach basketball at a ghetto school? I was out of a job, and they offered me one. <laughs> Come on. Well, it's really as simple as that. It was a job and a basketball job. There wasn't anything better. I don't believe that. I'll bet you had a lot of offers. Actually, I didn't. Well, then, you consider something else? Like what? <sighs> Selling real estate or insurance? Opening supermarkets? That's not for me. What is for you? I'm happy coaching. Funny you don't look it. <sighs> I'll take care of it. No, you won't. I'm going to put that on my expense account. All business, huh? No, not all the time. Good, then I'm picking up the check. Do you know how expensive it is in here? So what, I can afford it. Oh, sure, huh? 253 a week. How do you know how much I make? Uh, well, I'm, I'm not sure. Perhaps it was on one of those fact sheets the researchers put together. You call that research? I call that prying. I'm sorry. I didn't know it would upset you. I certainly didn't mean to... Mean I'm not upset. And I'll take care of the check. Okay. Um, do they, uh, take credit cards here? I don't think so. I'm a little short. Okay, Mari and camera one will take the sidelines. We got camera two up in the bleachers covering the court and camera three in the locker room. Oh, good. You got all the coverage you need? Oh, yeah. Good. Oh, be sure and get me some good footage on Ken Reeves. Okay, we will do. I'll be up in the bleachers with his sister and brother-in-law. See what I can dig up. <laughs> See you later. Bye. I know there's going to be a lot of hoopla out there, so don't let it affect your game. <laughs> Just pretend the cameras aren't there. That goes for you, too, Jackson. <laughs> Especially you. Oh! oh. oh. Viva! What? <laughs> oh, Steve! Viva, Jackson! Oh, I got home. Oh. All right, all right. It's just going to be business as usual, OK? Now, there are going to be cameras in here now, as well as at halftime, so let's all be on our best behavior. Win or lose, Let's show a little sportsmanship, all right? Oh, and one other thing. Anybody tries to steal any camera equipment, I'll personally break their heads. Oh, now, remember, we're a team. Off the court as well as on it, so let's behave like a team. Goldstein, you... <laughs> and listen, man, this could be my big chance, man. Some pro scouts may see me or something. So don't go hogging the ball like you always do. Me? Hogging the ball? What are you talking about, man? I ain't the one hogging the ball. You the one that's always hogging the ball. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh! Get out of here! I can't believe that, man. The grass is greener. It's just a misdemeanor. A temporary layoff. You know what? You got to pay off. It's Harvard. It's Harvard. Fight, fight, fight.
Spread out, spread out. Some celebrity or something, you know, like if she can't play on the first string, she don't play. Yeah, yeah. Well, I bet you the coach can score points with her. Whoa. No way. Huh? No way, huh? How much money you got? What? Well, on me? Right now? <laughs> Maybe we should take a pull. Hey, man, I'll take a piece of that. All right. You know, I think the woman got designs on our coach. I seem to look in her eye. A look I am more than familiar with, having been there many times myself. Yeah, yeah, come to think of it, I remember the way that orangutan was looking at you the last time we went to the zoo. An orangutan? Who you calling an orangutan? You calling Gloria Simpson an orangutan, man? No, no, I'm sorry, she's not an orangutan. She's more like a baby gorilla. <laughs> hey, look, what are you talking about, Thorp? I ain't seen you out with the centerfold of the month lately, you know. That's because I am the centerfold of the month. <laughs> so funny. Hey, man, I'm just trying to picture the coach doing his thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 how many of you don't even take off his basketball shoes? You yeah, know, you mean it. I just warm up too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then we need to I mean, he says, uh, okay, 20 laps and hit the shot. <laughs>
got into you. I've never seen you lose your temper like that before. I just blew up, that's all. It was good reason. It was a lousy call. Anybody could see that. It was just a game. Look, I know you. Something's bothering you. Of course something's bothering me. I just got thrown out of a lousy high school basketball game in front of the whole student body, the faculty, and three cameras that recorded it in living color. That's it? There's Sally Adams. I don't know. You like her? Yeah, I like her. She's beautiful, she's ambitious, successful. Got a glamorous job. It makes ten times more money than you do. You ever consider working with a terminally ill? Got a great way of cheering people up. Well, from here it looks like your ego is only slightly bruised. Stay off it for a while. In a few days, I'm sure it'll swell back up to normal. Look, it's not just my ego. It's the whole thing. It's more aggravation than it's worth. I've got a bunch of potential John Dillingers who'd rather win fights than win basketball games. Buchanan finds fault with almost everything I do, and for what? Who needs it? Think you made a mistake? Maybe. What you thought? What you thinking about? Coach. What about him? I don't know what to think about him. I mean, one day he's a, a pain, and the next day he's a saint. You know, I don't know. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like the first day he came here, man, you know, I thought he was just going to be just another white knight coming here to save the ghetto. I know, that's why I think I'm beginning to like him. I mean, you know, he doesn't care about whether you're black or white or whatever. I mean, he just cares about basketball. Hey, man, you dig the way he went off on that ref? Oh, wow, I thought he was going to have a heart attack. Man, I thought he was going to kill the dude. <laughs> <laughs> he might have if Coolidge didn't hold him back. I don't know, man. It's something strange about the guy, something I can't explain. Sometimes he just, I don't know, he just really ticks me off, you know? Yeah. Then other times you got to think, wow, this cat is dumber than we are, man. He don't even have to be here. Yeah, at least we got an excuse. He was born in this dump. Yeah, well, he don't have no excuse. The last thing he needs to be doing is working at Carver High. I still can't get over the way he went after that ref, man. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder what Willis and Buchanan will have to say about that. Hey, I bet from now on they'll probably think he's one of us more than one of them. Yeah, he just might be. Yeah, Mr. Ken Reeves. You know, this might be the start of a beautiful friendship. Hi, Carol. Is he in? He's on the phone, but I'll tell him you're here. Don't bother. I'll just barge in as usual. Brains, we do not renegotiate contracts in mid-season. You tell the agents the next time they pull something like this, we'll drop him. <clears throat> How's your interview stuff going? Well, we got some dailies on the Ken Reeves segment. Dynamite stuff, I assume? Well... Well, what? I'm not sure. He's a little offbeat. What does that mean? He's not the easiest guy in the world to interview. Your dailies ready? Yeah. We better go see them. Who are these guys supposed to be? The dirty dozen of high school basketball? There's some interview stuff coming up. Just some pieces. We haven't put it together yet. You said you really enjoy coaching, but don't you ever miss the pros? Why does every interviewer always ask a former pro athlete if he misses playing? Does coaching at Carver ever bring back memories of your own high school? Couldn't be more different. Carver's a predominantly black ghetto school. It's overcrowded, it's understaffed. The facilities are old, the equipment's falling apart. It's more like a war zone than a school. It's probably going to stay that way unless somebody on the Board of Education does something about it. See what I mean? What do you think your team's chances are going to the state championship? Zippo. What are your immediate plans for Carver as a team? 
Right now we're shooting for 100% attendance at team practice. I was wondering um, if it ever bothers you that some of your former teammates, as well as other pro athletes, have gone on to careers that are more glamorous, more rewarding, at least financially, than the path you've chosen. No, it doesn't bother me. Thank you. What do you think? Where did you find this guy? I thought you'd say that. I gotta get this guy. Huh? He's good looking, he comes across great on camera. He knows basketball and he's controversial. He says things, but he's so wholesome looking and so clean cut, he can get away with it, he wouldn't offend anybody. He's the perfect color commentator. You know, I think you're right. Of course I'm right. We can start him off on the college regional games. You think he'd be interested? Oh, are you kidding? You ought to see the car he drives. He'd jump at it. Good. Coming to my party? Would I miss one of your parties? Well, I'll call him up and invite him. I think I can handle that. I thought you could. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, except that I could tell from your interview that your interest in Reeves was uh, something more than professional. How could you tell that? Because you're trying so hard to hide it. Hello. Hi. Hi, where are you? At work. We're going over some of last night's footage. That was some show you put on. Well, I don't think it's going to win me any awards. Well, I don't know. Listen, um, the reason I was calling is that if you're not doing anything tomorrow, Mel Simmons is having a brunch. I thought maybe you'd like to go. Who's Mel Simmons? My boss. Business or pleasure? Both. Pick me up at noon. You got a deal. Bye. <laughs> Listen, Gomez, I'm sorry. I'm late. I can't talk to you now. I'll see you Monday at practice, okay? Coach. All right, son. Let's go. Sally tell you anything about why we wanted to see you? She mentioned something about it. All right, I'll get right to the point. We think you have what it takes to make a great color commentator. I mean, you have camera presence, you know how to handle yourself, you know basketball, and uh, if you don't mind my saying so, you're a character. See, I think you could be another Don Meredith. Hmm? Well, I don't know if I'd like being called dandy. Well, that's beside the point. Yeah. The point is there's a future here. What you want to do with it, that's entirely up to you. This is the kind of thing that can open a lot of doors for you, like commercials, TV, maybe even hey, whoa, movies. Whoa, whoa, you're going a little fast for me. All right, let's get to the bottom line. We'd like an option on your services for two years. First season, you get a thousand a week. Second season, if we pick up the option, you get a thousand two fifty. Thousand a week. Yeah, plus expenses. Oh, just like that. I like to go with my instincts. So do I most of the time. Well, then we have a deal. I like to think it over. All right, call me tomorrow. Now, how about next week? What's wrong with tomorrow? 
What's wrong with next week? All right, call me next week. This guy's a nut. Just... What was that for? Congratulations. For what? For your new job. I am taking a job, yeah? <laughs> Why not? I want to think it over. Think it over? Ken, are you crazy? Mel Simmons offers you a job like that and you tell him you want to think it over? What are you getting so upset about? Well, you're making me look bad. Mel asked me if you were interested in the job and I told him you'd jump at it. Well, you shouldn't have said that. I thought you would. I mean, most people would. Anybody would. Anybody in his right mind, that is. What is there to think over? What I want to do with my life. Nate Archibald feeling the pressure. This will tie it up. New York, time out. 56 seconds left. It'll be interesting now to see how Boston defenses the inbound pass in this tie game. Well, Chick, I know it doesn't sound like much, but 56 seconds is a lot of time. If I were Willis Reed, I'd be looking for Boston to come out in a full-court press. One way to break that is with the outlet pass at the big man, so I'm looking for McAdoo on the inbounds. Boston in a full-court press. Richardson having trouble with the inbound pass. He gets it into Bob McAdoo. He passes underneath the Haywood. Slam dunk. That's a two. Man, those are great. Where'd you get them? Got them at the pro shop. Same one Muhammad Ali's got. Can I try them? Get out of here. Why not? Because I ain't gonna lace them. Besides, they wouldn't look good on you. Why? Because you're white. Are you part of this team or not? talking to you. Your dribble's getting better. I think we'll only work for an hour after practice. Sorry, coach. I can't make it this afternoon. Hey, wait a minute. Salami. What's the matter with Thorpe? What is this? I thought we were supposed to be a team, man. Off the court as well as on it. If I remember correctly. Okay, everybody in the locker room, now. <clears throat> okay. Team meetings now in session. What's all this about? What are you, a bunch of babies? You guys got a problem? Let's get it out in the open. Salami? Haywood? Reese? You got something to say? Why don't you ask Gomez? Yeah, what about Gomez? Where is he? Seems to me it's a little late to be asking about Gomez now, don't you think? If I don't get some answers and get them fast, somebody's going through that wall. What about Gomez? 
Did Gomez give you Carl Sunday? Yeah, so? So? So Gomez was in jail, man. He was in jail and he needed you. You were his one lousy phone call and you hung up on it. Gomez was in jail? Come on, man. He got caught trying to cop a few items downtown. You mean he was shoplifting? Hey, look, man, we didn't come to you. You came to us. We didn't ask you to get involved with our problems, man. You did that all by yourself. That's right, man. We didn't want your help. And we didn't ask for it. That was your game. And the one time, the one time that one of us comes to you asking for help, there was a nobody home. As usual. So why don't you do us a favor, man? No more of your high and mighty speeches, all right? And maybe you just ought to go on back to where you came from. Are you finished? All finished. Mrs. Gomez, I'm Ken Reeves, your son's basketball coach. At school, Carver High School. I'm your son's coach, your son, Ricardo. Ricardo? Ricardito? Yes. Is he here? I'd like to see him. Ricardo, ¿dónde está? No sé dónde. Uh, uh, no habla español. Me ha dejado una notita, Ricardo. No sé dónde está, señor. No sé dónde está. Uh, is Ricardo here? No sé dónde está mi Ricardo. Uh, where is he? No sé, señor. No sé dónde está. Uh, can I take this? Uh, can I take this and then I'll bring it back? Sí? Sí, sí. Uh, gracias. Miss Haber? I'm Ken Reed, basketball coach. What can I do for you? Could uh, you translate this for me? Oh, sure. Oh. Uh, I'm the Spanish teacher, not the Greek teacher. I can't make heads or tails out of this. Uh, it's from Gomez to his mother. Oh, well, that explains the bad handwriting. Maybe you can explain why he's the only Mexican in school that's failing Spanish. <sighs> well, it's not your fault. Last I heard, he's failing everything. Well, let's see. It says, Dear Mother, I not go to house of de Young House of Detention. He means a juvenile detention home. I'm sorry to hurt you, but I must go where they will not find me. Absolutely no grasp of idiomatic Spanish. That's it? With love, Ricardo. If Ricardo has a mother, why are they going to put him in a juvenile detention home? That's what I'm going to find out. James, you're not doing Ricky or yourself or anybody for that matter any favors by keeping silent. If you know where he is, please tell us. It's for his own good. I don't know. I don't know nothing. That we already know. But what about Gomez's whereabouts? All right. All right. You can go, James. Ken! Ken! What are you doing here? I've been looking all over for you. Mel's getting impatient. That's nice. What's the matter with you? Why do you always have to be so arrogant? Mel happens to have offered you a job most people would cut the right arm off for. The least you can do is show him some respect. Well, I'm not being disrespectful. I'm in a rush. Well, then when are you going to call him? He won't wait forever. 
When was the last time you saw Ricky Gomez? Who? Who's Gomez? I don't know any Gomez. Hey, Sybil, what's going on with Gomez? I just saw his mother and she gave me this note. What's all this business about a juvenile detention home? Ken Reeves, this is Mr. Price, Ricardo's probation officer. How are you? Ricardo Gomez was arrested for shoplifting. It was his third probation violation. The kid's got no father, and the courts ruled his mother's incapable of exercising control over him. He's been sentenced to six months in a detention home. Gomez is no criminal. He's uh, just a little wacko, that's all. You put him in a place like that, when he comes out, it'll be worse than when he went in. He stole $13.47 worth of merchandise out of a thrifty store. What'd he steal? <clears throat> one bottle of hand lotion, two bath towels yellow, one set pot holders, one hibachi stove. He tried to steal a hibachi? Five packs of chewing gum. I know Gomez. He wouldn't steal those things just to steal them. It's just his way of getting some attention. Didn't you ever need any attention when you were a kid? Oh, spare me. What, do you think he suddenly got an overpowering urge for a bottle of hand lotion? Does that make any sense to you? He violated his probation. He broke the law. Under the circumstances, the court has no choice. What circumstances? There's nobody to be responsible for the kid. I'll be responsible. What? Who are you, his rich uncle or something? I'm his coach. I thought you had some kind of ambition, some drive. I thought you wanted to make something of your life. Don't you realize what an opportunity you just turned down? Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. If I make a thousand bucks a week, I'm a success. If I make 250, I'm not. If I do color commentary on television, I have drive and ambition. And if I coach basketball in a ghetto high school, I don't? I didn't say that. Well, then what are you saying? Because I think I am doing something with my life. I don't want to be a color commentator. I can do more with my life than that. I can teach these kids something. I mean, so what if I do regional college basketball games? Then what? If I'm good at it, I get a promotion to do pro games. And then what, beer commercials? Well, is that so terrible? Let me tell you something. I have worked very hard to get where I am. Miss America finalist or no Miss America finalist. I went to the right schools. I studied hard, I work hard, and I am pretty damn successful by most people's standards. I make a very pretty penny, and I'm proud of it. Now, if you want to go off and be a white knight somewhere, terrific, go ahead. But don't start putting down things you know nothing about. I wasn't putting it down. I just said it wasn't for me. Well, then maybe I'm not for you either. You know what? I think you're right. All right, we got 28 seconds left. We're down by one. This is our last time out. Salami, you tired? Go, go in for salami. I want to go to the double screen to Coolidge. That means you're on the low, weak side post. Right. Goldstein and Haywood, you got to set the pick. Right. You must wait for 12 seconds on the clock, Haywood, before you start the play. 12 right. seconds. No sooner, no later. Go, go, you get the ball. Control it and get it to Coolidge any way you can. If you can't get it to Coolidge, you take your best move, you take your best shot, and everybody crash the boards. You got it? All right, stay on the control out there. We've worked on this all week. We can do it. Let's go, you guys. Go! Keep watching. All right, hang on. You got walking. No, Haywood, start it now. Shoot, go, go. Nice going, Gomez. Yeah, Gomez. Don't know what we would have done without you. Hey, Gomez. Oh, exactly what kind of shot was that, bro? Shot? You call that a shot, man? It looked more like a seal playing with a beach ball. Hey, Gomez.
Yeah, coach. You better keep your nose clean, Gomez. After the way you played tonight, you get thrown in the can again, I'll leave you there. What is it most of us want from life? For some of us, it's glory. For others, it's power, money, or recognition. But what is it that makes Ken Reeves forsake the opportunities for glory and money offered most professional athletes? To coach basketball at an almost forgotten high school in a Los Angeles ghetto? I don't know if we found the answer, but one thing I do know. There are 12 young high school athletes who are glad he does. From everyone here, good luck, Kenny Reeves. This is Sally Adams. Good night.